Hi mga kalaagan! Ako si Kalaagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Subo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Subo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Miss Mandawit 2023 candidate number 9. We have Miss Pauline Christy Clarice Betcher. Yes, tama ba? Did I pronounce yes, it correctly? Sorry. Okay, so Pauline, how are you? I'm fine. I'm doing good. Good. And how was the competition so far? So far, it has. It was so fun mm -hmm. with all their uh, given activities. We were able to tour around and experience Mandawe. Mm -hmm. And lately, we had our sponsors visit, which made me very happy because some of the sponsors were very generous and had me uh, brought a little gift packs when I got home. Wow. And congratulations on being top three, no? Sa, sa best in talent. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Now, here at Laagan sa Subo, we have these segments. The first segment that you, you will be experiencing is the boiling question. But the question is, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> now, there are boiling questions in front of us. I want you to pick one first and give it to me. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Your first boiling question is, how should a beauty queen respond to ruthless criticism? Well, as a beauty queen, we have a lot of people that have their eyes and ears on us. Mm -hmm. But to be able to hear ruthless criticism, we must respond wholeheartedly. We must talk what is in our heart without offending other people's feelings. Yes, no, like we should think it first, yes, Deba, before we do anything else. Okay, pick your next boiling question. All right. Ayan. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Sege. Eto. Your next boiling question is, what does it mean to be a resilient woman? Well, with my whole life, with my 25 years of existence here in this world, mm -hmm. I have been to a lot of challenges that I have experienced, specifically during the death of my brother. Oh, so yes. I'm so sorry to hear. Um, he was 19 years old that time and it was not long enough yet. It was on the year 2019 when he met a motorcycle accident that oh. had my life changed completely because that um, sibling of mine was so close to me mm -hmm. and I truly understand how <laughs> it's I'm so sorry to hear and yeah that. it's mm -hmm. fine and um, mm -hmm. we we both have we both have the same passion for motorcycles and mm -hmm. basically we grew up together so what's his is mine and mm -hmm. God, I'm sorry. It's okay. And what's mine is his. And on that day was very unfortunate to me because I was on my way here to the city to attend a pageant. And then along the way, I saw the motorcycle of my brother lying beside the road. And I really didn't expect to see that situation because... Um, I won't accept that my brother has, is already dead because what would my life be after his death? He's so close to me and but because of that of my brother's death it made me realize a few things that in life in order to move forward we need to accept our past and those things those bad things that happened to us has its reason and right now I'm already engaging in um, enduro cross competition mm -hmm. you know the off-road mm -hmm. racing off-road trail riding and I won't be able to be in that situation without my brother's death I'm not saying that I'm thankful for my brother's mm -hmm. death but what I'm saying is that though there are times there are situations that will knock you down 
there's always a reason why that happened and right now i met new people new opportunities that mm -hmm. i didn't expected to receive in the first place mm -hmm. and then yeah in life there will be challenges but you know when life knocks you down you have to get up and be strong and show to other people that whatever happens in life we must always remain strong and continue to pursue the future because as long as we are alive as long as we are breathing life never stops life continues yes absolutely nang dahil doon it made you more stronger yes okay now pick your next boiling question and thank you so much for sharing your story yeah, it was so hard mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost uh four years now but four years now it still hit so hard but you know um last week i joined a motocross on mm -hmm. the alley mm -hmm. ahead of my bro of the area where my brother mm -hmm. had an accident and i didn't expect that because my boyfriend didn't tell me that that would be the venue for the motocross um race so um I was shocked and I cried a lot and then um, my boyfriend was uh, uplifting me and telling me that it's okay it already happened and uh, my co uh, team uh, told me that um, you know uh, in life there will be challenges there will be difficulties mm -hmm. that we don't want to be in again but we need to face it again and in order to move forward um, we could always go back. I'll look back, but never go back and change its narrative. You know, it's one way of healing. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Gawin mo yung hugot, ba? To be the best version of yourself. Really. Yes, sir. Diba? Okay. Your next boiling question is, how would you console the Cebuanos commuting public, especially those here in Cebu City, that there is a silver lining to traffic problems um the taxi that i rode earlier mm -hmm. um we talk about traffic here in mm -hmm. cebu city i asked him that why is it so traffic here in cebu city when i was studying here in college it was not this traffic but you know as time passes by he told me that it's not just about the traffic areas it's also about the the situation we're in here in Cebu there are already lots of vehicles running mm -hmm. around so there's always a silver lining in every traffic situation because as the as we modernized through age there are other proposed solution in engaging through traffic there are already applications that can help us solve our problems in traffic mm -hmm. such as the ancas maxim mm, yes. Lab, and that is already made convenient through our phones so we cannot neglect we can no longer prevent traffic and what we can do is uh, find solutions and how to avoid traffic such as waking up early mm -hmm. in the morning before going to work or before mm -hmm. going to your itineraries in that day and we can always book um an ancas rider or a mm. maxim rider yes. or grab rider that would make, make our, our travel convenient and avoid traffic yes. although there will be traffic um it would be made easy traffic will be made easier and another thing also, nung sabi mo, modern na, may mga modern jeep ni na, ba? Yeah. So it's air conditioned na. Yeah. Uh -uh. Kahit mahaba yung traffic, as long as air, air conditioned naman, ba? Fresh pa rin. Yes, <laughs> keep our poise and composure. Correct. Okay, pick your last but not least boiling question. Alright. Okay. Your last but not the least boiling question is, when is the right time to listen and when is the right time to speak as a public school teacher um, mm. i've been teaching for almost four years now and i have observed that in order to effectively relay your message one must speak when one must speak the other will listen and when people are listening and that that will be your opportunity to talk because if both person are talking no message will be able to be relayed okay. so 
that's that's it for me. <laughs> now, Makalagan, before we proceed with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to thank Cebu Century Plaza Hotel for the accommodation. Thank you very much because Cebu Century Plaza Hotel is the home for king and queens. And I would like to personally thank also Timplora Dermatologica for always making me fresh because I am Timplora Touch. Now, let's lighten up. Let's do Zina because our next segment is the fast talk. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Mag enjoy na naman tayo. <laughs> okay. Fast talk. How many times do you take a bath? One. No cell phone or internet? No cell phone. Moreno or mistiso? Moreno. Walang tulog o walang kain? Walang tulog. Favorite pastime? Um, enduro trail riding. Island life or city life? Island life, of course. Beauty or brain? Brain. Travel or books? Travel. Sweet or spicy? Spicy. YouTube or Netflix? Netflix. Fruits or vegetable? Fruits. Hashtag ng buhay mo? Hashtag diverse beauty. Ah, hashtag diverse beauty. Alright, can you please invite our Lagan sa Cebu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Miss Mandawe 2023. Go ahead! Hi guys! I have a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. It's named Joey and Clarice 04 and we are already thriving to 10k followers on Facebook and our content is Moto Trail Riding oh. and on our Facebook page, we upload our races. Also, so you can follow my journey and Miss Mandawi 2023 in my personal fa Facebook. The name of my Facebook is Pauline Christie Clarice Betcher, and that is where I upload my updates about my journey on Miss Mandawi 2023. All right. Once again, Makalagan, our Miss Mandawi 2023 candidate number nine, we have Miss Pauline Christie Clarice Betcher. Thank you so much for guesting here at Lagan sa Thank Subo. You, Congratulations on being part of Miss Mandawi 2023 and good luck for your coronation night. Thank you, sir. Thank you're, you. You're welcome. And also, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Lagan sa Subo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe, be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan sa Subo. Subo.